Roundtable, we're talking about source with Dr. Dan Quigley, Associate Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, and source coordinator Lisa Giosi. Dan, is there a course that NYIT teaches that helps students with their source presentations? Yes, actually, I, I teach the course. There's, uh, as does Dr. Naharika Nath in Manhattan. Um, there's a one-credit course that students can enroll in. Uh, the course is not about the content of their presentation as much it is, as it is about the, present, the way of presenting, how well they present. So they're working with a faculty advisor on the content, the, the topic. It might be um, life science and DNA research, or it might be an advertisement campaign. They sign up for a course to work with me, uh, usually one-on-one, -on -one, and I will have them practice their presentation. And I work with them on things like, is the PowerPoint presentation well organized? Um, are they speaking clearly? How are they standing? Those sort of presentational aspect of the, of the event. Now, Lisa, there are a lot of different types of projects that are involved in SOURCE, and you're a coordinator. Mm -hmm. What are the challenges of trying to put something like this together? There are quite a few. Um, really, one of the biggest challenges is putting everyone into sessions because we have, uh, I believe, it's five presentations per session. And of course, there's not going to be 10 advertising or 10 life sciences. And so just trying to figure out you know, where to put those extra two or three and make it a good session for all the participants mm -hmm. and make sure that it's coherent even though the subjects and departments may not mesh. So that I think that's one of our biggest challenges. But I think we did a good, we have a good setup this year, and I think p the people who go to whichever session they choose to attend will enjoy what they hear. Dan, who attends SOURCE? Is it just for students? Is it for students and faculty? Can the public attend? Uh, the, the event is open to anyone. Uh, we encourage, uh, we've been advertising it for a while, and we encourage students both as presenters and just interested uh, other students to come and see the work that the students have done. Um, a lot of faculty promote it in their class and have students show up. Uh, registration is free. They can come. They, they should have registered online on, a, on the website so that we know how many attendees are coming. Um, so the sessions are have five groups or individuals presenting per session, uh, but there are seats for an audience to certainly come, and the faculty often come and watch how their students do. There's also uh, a number of poster presentations that are up permanently throughout the day, and the creators of those posters have been asked to stand by their posters for an hour time block during the day to answer questions of anyone who might be going by. So it really is a full day event and a lot of activity going on, um, and students presenting in one session are certainly free, and we encourage them to attend other sessions and, and hear what their, their colleagues are doing. Now, Lisa, how did you make the switch from being a presenter to being a coordinator? How did that come about? It was very surprising to me. Um, the girl who did it before me, Stephanie Lupo, she stepped down, and they were looking for someone who also lived on Long Island and was familiar with Source to come in and take her place. And I was just at the right place at the right time. Um, it all started with and our event planner here, Lynn Lamano, she tapped me and then I met with Dean Yu and the rest of the source committee and it just all fell in place. Wow. Yeah. Dan, could you tell me, how does source benefit NYIT? Oh, in a number of ways. It, it gives our students, I think, a, a chance to demonstrate just how good they can be and it challenges them. And um, that, anytime you challenge students, they they benefit from it, the, the institution benefits from it. Uh, the faculty now have a, a larger project or goal that they can aim their students towards. They can use that to encourage them to, to try for more difficult projects. A lot of the projects that are, are demonstrated or presented started off as a class project but are expanded and, and moved beyond that just for the source presentation. It also uh, prepares them for uh, the professional world. Um, it gives them experience standing up in front of people and talking to people. And it, it gives the faculty a chance to, to come and see what other students in other programs are doing. 
so that I, as an English professor, might see a uh, presentation from someone in engineering and see how well they're doing. And they get to see what, you know, the engineering faculty can see what students in fine arts are doing. So it, it brings the, the students and the faculty together. Has a synergistic effect. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, that was the whole idea that this was not set in just one school, that all disciplines are going to be participating in it. And um, it, it's really worked out very well. Okay. Lisa, as a previous presenter, how do you feel source benefited you personally? It benefited me in every, in every way that it benefited me was positive. Um, it's a platform though, you can really, it's I'm trying to find the perfect way to explain it. It's a platform where um, it's a real professional environment. You know, we're out of the classroom and we're actually speaking to people who could be potential for me as an advertising major, potential you know clients and stuff like that. Um, one of my friends, who was also an advertising major, she was able to take her project out of the classroom and she redesigned the NYIT logo last year, and she was able to actually show it to President uh, Giuliano, and she never would have been able to done that, do that otherwise. So I think that's a great example of how source benefits people. Well, I'd like to thank you for being our guests today. We've been talking about source here at NYIT Roundtable. I'm Carol Pack. We'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.